Hey again everyone and welcome back to the channel for another installment in our ongoing new figure showcase series where we take a look at the latest six scale figure being added into my collection and do a little quick review and, and posing session. And today we're taking a momentary break from the onslaught of Hot Toys figures being released, not just Marvel, but Star Wars as well. And we're gonna go back to Star Trek. And specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at a figure I've been pretty excited about, and that is Locutus of Borg from Star Trek The Next Generation, produced by Exo6. So this is the second actual release we're getting for the Star Trek The Next Generation line of figures, with the previous one being the Judge Q, which I ended up passing on. Now, this was one of the pricier figures also that Exo6 has, coming in at about 245 plus shipping. So with that higher cost, I'll be honest, my expectations also increase with things that I could forgive on the more standard releases being something I'm less likely to overlook. Now, there's a lot here that's unique. In fact, the entire figure is brand new from the sculpt down to the Borg implant and the suit. So there is, of course, a cost associated with that. Now, the question is, did Exo6 deliver? And Honestly, I'll tell you right now, I think they did. But before going into the figure, let's discuss Locutus of Borg a little bit. He is the assimilated version of Captain Jean-Luc Picard. Anyone who is even remotely familiar with Trek is aware of the Borg and their representation as an unstoppable force with the iconic Resistance is Futile line. And they were teased in the early second season as that unstoppable force before finally making their reappearance in one of TNG's best stories, The Best of Both Worlds, where Captain Picard is assimilated by the Borg, who in turn uses extensive knowledge of the Federation to destroy a defensive armada of ships at the Battle of Wolf 359. Now, the cliffhanger for the season ended where we first see Locutus. That was pretty intense, I think, for its time, to see the captain and the beloved character essentially turned against his crew. And it was a great cliffhanger. But more importantly, the Borg, Picard's assimilation, and that Battle of Wolf 359 would have ramifications through the rest of Trek, through Deep Space Nine, Star Trek Voyager, First Contact, and ultimately the latter two seasons of Picard. To me, this is where all that starts from. Benjamin Sisko's entire life path is set by the events of Wolf 359. Captain Janeway's knowledge of the Borg stems from the Federation's early involvement with the Borg. And ultimately, Picard Season 3 seems to have finally concluded this pretty epic storyline. So, as a Star Trek fan, when Exo6 announced that they were making a Locutus, there was no way I was going to pass up on the chance of owning him. Now, looking at the overall set that we're getting here, he doesn't come with much beyond the standard stand and a pair of alternate hands. Now, honestly, I'm not sure what else could have been included, and the start here has to be the figure itself. There have been teasers of a Borg regeneration alcove being sold as a separate piece. I'll be very interested to see how that looks like because it might be something that would add a little extra to the figure. So today's video is probably gonna be a little on the shorter side with the minimum accessories, but we do have the two spare hands to take a look at. So let's jump in and I'll say they look good. They're gesturing hands with fingers splayed out in slightly different poses and they are fully gloved with a metallic bronze-like um, paint on the surface. The, the apps are great, giving it an almost shimmery, slightly rusted look. Details are good too with some unique elements along the fingers and a mechanical pad on the back of the hand. But now let's look at the sculpt. And this is something that I felt like Exo6 needed to nail. And I'm happy to say, I think they did it. I think they produced one of their best sculpts to date. First of all, I have to go into detail work, into the detail work here, which is really outstanding. I think looking at a still from the show, and keep in mind that this is uh, based on an episode that aired about 33 years ago, but looking at a still from the show, this seems to be spot on. The Borg implants just stand out, again with that metallic bronze finish showing some pitting, and the hoses and connections into the skin, they're also really well detailed, showing the skin kind of pulling taut where the implants are, are, are piercing. Uh, the likeness to Patrick Stewart is also incredible. Without a doubt, this looks like Locutus. Amazing details on the headgear and the paint app showing uh, a more pale Picard are also pretty nice. I do think he could have been a little paler, but that's a real nitpick at this point. Uh, honestly, I don't really have any complaints here. Even the eyes, which is something I tend to be highly critical of with XO6, there are no complaints here. No wonky eyes, and they look like they've improved the overall technique on painting these. So it really is an amazing sculpt. Now the rest of the figure looks equally as good. The undersuit is fabric, so it does allow for some okay range of posability, but I will say it's not an overall dynamic figure, just based on the restrictions of the suit. But look, the, the suit, also impressive. There are a lot of pieces affixed onto the body uh, mesh, and let's start with the detail work here. They all look great with all this detail 
for the mechanical pieces on the body and the circuitry. It just overall feels very biomechanical as the Borg should. And on top of that, the paint applications are all well done with that metallic, slightly black and bronze feel. It could have been easily just all black, but there are some pieces like the hose attachments and the circuit connections with the hoses where you get a lighter metallic piece. So I think they did an amazing job making the Borg suit really stand out. And of course you get his implant arm, which includes the mechanical piece at the end. Very interesting look overall and also a little disturbing and you realize that the Borg essentially modify and amputate limbs to connect these artificial uh, members to. So clearly a traumatic experience which is heavily studied in the series. The other thing I love here, all those hoses and cable pieces coiling around his back and around the arms and legs. They really do add an extra element of detail that I really like. Now, they did make a decision to not glue the ends of the hoses into the uh, attachment points, and I actually appreciate that because if they do slip out of the connectors during posing, it's pretty easy to replace them and avoid breaks. Now, this figure does have an electrical light-up feature where you pop off the side of the head to reveal the battery compartment underneath. So, a few observations. First of all, they did a good job hiding the compartment under the heavy mechanical piece. Now, just like my complaints with Hot Toys and the like, are you really going to remove this and turn on the light up feature every time? It's great and something I would love to have on, but USB is really your friend and I think that has to be the future for a lot of these figures, regardless of the brand. Now, I looked everywhere in the box and I don't think I got any batteries for this. Not sure if that was on purpose, since I do know they they were trying to ship to Australia and there are some restrictions on button cell batteries there, but that's why unfortunately I didn't showcase that feature here. It's not the end of the world, I can always get some batteries, just a little annoying. Now again, the figure isn't as highly posable as some of the other ones we've gotten from Exo 6, which isn't surprising and also isn't a real issue. Locutus was never a martial arts champion that needed to be posed in high stakes combat stances. The key was the assimilation of a re revered Starfleet captain, and the fear was in seeing such a liked individual turn and be the voice of the enemy. So the power and presence of the figure to me is the overall uh, appeal. And look, even with that said, I do think the figure poses well, and there were some good design choices with the shoulder armor that let you get some movement, so it's by no means a static piece. But for this character, the key was nailing the sculpt and the overall look, and I think Exo 6 did just that. I think the detailing work here is really outstanding, and they really hit it out of the park. To be honest, this gives me a really good feeling for the upcoming Commander Krug figure, which is an almost $300 release. I think if Exo 6 can hit that one, on point, on target, combined with how good this Locutus came out, they may have just gone to another level. But again, overall, really, really happy with how this turned out, and I think if you are a Trek fan, this is an iconic character that really set the path for Trek through present day. So not only does he look awesome, but there's a lot of key history here to enjoy and have in your display. So that was a quick look at Locutus of Borg from Exo 6. Again, super happy with the release, and I did get my shipping notice for Tom Paris from their Voyager line. That was one of the more standard figures, so we'll see how that one turns out. But let me know your thoughts, and as always, thank you for watching. And if you are enjoying the content, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll touch base on the next video.